Hello guys. Uh, this is uh, Augustine from Etron Sex Solutions. Uh, today I want to show you a quick tip on how to uh, quickly terminate your uh, Ethernet cable. So with the RG45, uh, yeah, RG45. In this case, I have the two types. I have the the metal one, and then I also have the uh, the see-through one. The let's say glass, the glass type. This one. So, uh, so in this case, I have a cat six cable. A normal cassis uh, cassis uh, um, this is cassis uh, UTP doesn't really matter though I'm just showing you what I have so this is the cassis so under normal circumstances I'll use this to to peel the cable only one turn yeah then I'll peel it off and usually what you're supposed to do is to check the cable for any damage so here you can see that there's a little cut on the cable over here sorry for my fingers dirty fingers I was doing something um, so you can see that there's a little cut which I don't really like so in order to avoid that, I usually use the blade. I'll prefer the blade. Uh, because I'll have a control over the over the cut. So I'll cut this one off and peel it again. So with the blade, I just decide where I'll cut it. Then I'll do a slight cut over which is very neat and simple so that one you will not damage the cable anymore so like as you can see the cable is neatly peeled and there's no cuts on the on the on the wires so that's the first step the second step is to stretch uh, the second uh, step is to stretch the wires but then instead of going the traditional way and i mean turning them one by one and stretching them i have a quick tip for you so that tip is what you use the tiny screwdriver you got you insert it in between the pair of the tiny wires then you you pull on it so when you pull on it, you see that the wire is already separated and stretched. So it's, it's quick and less stressful. So I'll do the same thing with the last one, the brown. Then you pull on it. So it's, you see that it's quickly stretched and separated. So um, the next thing you do is to cut. Uh, middle insulator, uh, uh, I don't know, middle separator, whatever it is, the plastic, you cut it off. But to cut it, me, I will, I will actually pull it a bit, pull it from inside. I'm just using my teeth to, to do that. So you pull it a bit out, then you cut it. So when you do that, you stretch the insulator back to its place so when you do that the that plastic this one it goes it goes deep inside so it it allows you to push the remaining side of the wire deep inside the rd45 there's a second one over here so it will allow you to push it very well inside at the end of the day we want to get uh, a neatly terminated wire I mean internet cable so after that you have to arrange the wires in the 
in their correct positions and this type you are doing the b b type of the um the termination which starts from the i'll start from the left side to the right side and the rg45 has to turn pin side up yes so the pin side will be up and the locking side will be down so you arrange the the wires accordingly so from the left side to the right side you will go with the white brown because of the color of my lights you might not see the you might not see the colors very well okay yeah it's showing so you have uh, you have white brown then followed by brown eh what am i saying so sorry for that we have a uh, white orange rather followed by uh, followed by orange and let me lock the focus so i don't have to go forth and back inside so you have the white orange followed by orange then followed by white green and then it will be followed by blue then white blue green white brown and then the brown so all you need to do is uh, make sure they keep that position throughout so while you are arranging them you are applying some small st st uh, stretching force on it to keep it in position so just like that then follow the wires mm. so you do the same thing with the orange and then the white orange so i'll go over the colors again for those who don't know the color arrangement so from the with the, the pin side of the rg45 up you, from left side to the right side you have white orange orange white green blue white blue you can see here white blue uh, green white brown and brown so that, those are the that's a B type of determination. So, another thing for you to get this insulator all the way inside the RD45, it, it goes all the midway somewhere there. I'm sure, yes, somewhere here. It could go all the way to that side, and that would be a good termination. So, to do that, you see, I've measured it. Some of the RD45 they have holes at the top just like the way it's looking but mine here doesn't have so that's a uh, small how do i say problem or i don't know so in this case you have to measure it and cut it according to this to the length for those of you who have that 45 with the holes at the top you just have to push them all the way in then when you are satisfied then you your crimping to definitely have have the knife inside and to trim it off by itself my mind doesn't have that and i have to cut it according to the size so let's quickly do that so measure it measure it all the way there and i'll keep my fingers to the end uh, then put the cutter there apply some small strength Bam. <laughs> so it's it's done. I've, I'm done cutting them, even though they are not in the same length. It will become normal after I push them inside. So you make sure you keep the, the color arrangements locked up in their position. So what I'll do is try and push them inside slow and sure. So they are they are now inside. Then I'll push them in all the way so you could see that the, the plastic insula insulation is 
uh, halfway into the RJ45, you could see that it has reached the end, which I really like. And it's really nice when you do that. So, uh, I'll have to check the color, the colors, and see whether they are in the correct position. You might not see everything. You might not see them like I'm seeing them here. But, uh, come on, pose is shaking. Alright, so, um, you have from here, I have brown, white, brown, green, white, blue, blue. Uh, white green and uh, orange and white orange you might not see them as well as I am seeing them because my camera is not all that good but uh, I can confirm that so uh, white orange orange that's the back side the locking side of the RD45 so white orange orange white green blue white blue green white brown and then brown so i'm in the correct position then the next thing you check is the top top side of the the rg45 make sure the wires are touching the end which shows that they are well pushed in so you could see this side too as well see that the white side of the the wires all the way to the, this end and these are the the pins they are going to lock inside the the wires so it's well pushed in we go a little bit and make sure they are in and you bring your crimping tool or clamping tool don't have a good english so you bring them inside even though i've I make sure they are on the top i still push them inside while locking it so you apply some small strength on the crimping tool then you are done nicely done you see so it is a good termination some people you do it and uh, the insulator will now be somewhere somewhere here which, uh, which is not nice and that one might uh, make the wire come off something so you have problem with connectivity later but when it's inside it hardly come off Alright. Yeah, so you have a good termination right here. Mm. Focusing yes. So we have a good termination. Alright. So I'll do the same thing with the with the other end. With the metal top of the uh, G forty five. So this one I'll, I'll, I'll do without talking, so you just stay tuned and watch.
that was around two or three minutes quick one so you see thank you for watching and just subscribe to my youtube channel for more video i know you have seen this type of things so many times but it's always good to learn so kindly subscribe to my youtube channel support me and uh, i'll see you again thank you bye